Hello everyone, it's Nekator here today. Today I'm going to be going over the good old currency mod, or the currency mod. It's a simple mod. It does very simple things. Now first off, I'm going to be listing some examples of where you can use this. Mainly in uh, single player world, not single player world, servers, where you have like an economy based system. It's not really useful in single player worlds, unless you have this like pre-built into the world or something. But yeah, uh, what I have right here is a hopper. What this is going to do, it's going to put all the cash I get from this transaction into the into this thing here. So yeah, that's all it does. So yeah, um, to get started, first off, you're going to want to get some monies or any currency of any caliber. And, and you're going to mount, want to make this book. Now, I don't have recipes at the moment because I don't have JI, but yeah. Uh, yes. So yeah, you can actually use this currency. But to, first off, you can't craft a currency. You can craft other variants of currency. For example, if I have a few $5 bills and I get a crafting table here, then I could break this down into $1 bills or $10 bills. I could break it down into $0.25. Cents. I could combine that into... There we go. I need like 8 of them to make a $2 coin. How much do I need for a $1 coin then? I want a $1 coin. Give me the $1 coin. Oh, I have to split. Okay, that's derpy. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then you do this, then you do that, and then you do that, then you do that, then you do that, then that, and then you do this, do this. <laughs> it's so derpy. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what I can do with twenty five cents. Wait, what was that? I swear. Ah, we can turn them into nickels. Glory, glory, G O oh, golly, Josh, darn. Come on. There we go. I can turn it back by using some of archaic. It's basically a lot of recipes for coins, okay? They're coins. They're money. Well, you you don't need this much complicated explanations. And yeah, I could break it all the way down to one cent. Which I honestly have no clue why you would do that, but okay. And there we go. We have five cents. I kind of wish that these had a back to them. Honestly. Like the coins, like I wish you could right-click a coin and throw it in the air. That'd be, that'd be nice. So yeah, once I get this, I could do this. There we go, and bam, and there we go, and then we have five cents. And and yeah. Really? I can't, I can't make this into the fudge. This is confusing me. <laughs> yeah, basically there's lots of coin recipe, so just messing around with it. Anyway, to get the start, you're gonna want to make a wallet. The wallet can only um the wallet can only hold things from the mod, so it won't hold anything else to make a wallet. You just use paper and other. And yeah, so it should be able to hold coins, things. But if I try to put Endurium, oh boy, it doesn't work. Because this only works for money. So yeah, also this is a nice way to store your cash. All I have to do is put it here. And yeah, as you can see, this is a fat wallet of cash. You're probably wondering what can I use this for. Well, you could just shove this into any slot where you want to use this. Yes. <laughs> my bad. Uh, You can use it any slot where you want to buy something. So I could use it here. It'll tell me how much change I have in my wallet. 321? Do I really have that much money in my wallet? I mean, I do have a sack of 20, so that's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, as you see, you can use the wallet in place of currency. I can still take out the 20s here, or the $5 bills even, and just like put a few here. And then just like buy this. And there you go. Now once that's done, it's going to put the change here. Oh god, it's coming out in cents. I don't want cents! <laughs> oh no. Why did I do this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put the change in my wallet now. I did not want this at all! <laughs> oh lord, why did I do this to myself? Oh god. But yeah, that's what the wallet is useful for. You could just do that. And I have five dollars in there apparently. Five dollars and a nickel. Good god, what is wrong with me? I'm gonna take out one nickel then. Uh, nickel? I think that's a nickel. This is a nickel. Yes. Okay. So, you're probably wondering, oh, how do I get money? So, first off, if you're a server owner, you could just give money to the players. You could add them to the load drops. You could do whatever with them. The money exists. What I recommend doing is making an exchange machines. 
So there's two types of machines here in the mod. There's the vending machine, there's the exchange machine, and there's also the third type, which is mainly, it isn't used for transactions, but you can use it. It's called the ATM. The ATM lets you store money, so if I put, oh wait, right. You can't put your wallet here. You can only put in, like, dollar amounts, as you can see. If I put, this is $100, so I'm going to deposit that. As you can see, I got $25. I have a fee of $2. So, yeah, and if I want to withdraw, I have to put 25 It's not going to work, because I need to take out the 3 so I have to do that, and there you go. I get 3 I have $2 fee, and, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, as you can see, I can't take out, so it's stuck there. I don't know how the the ATM works, to be honest. The ATM doesn't seem to be, like, charging me. It says the fee is that. I guess that's how much I can't take out, so it's always going to stay like that. I just thought I would take out from the whole balance, you know? I don't know. The ATM is kind of relatively new addition. Anyhow. So, yeah. Um... Uh, Let's say you make one of these exchange machines. Now, the difference between the exchange machine and the vending machine is their purposes. As you can see here, I can access this. I can add in things. I'm going to add in the cauldron, but I just bought it back. And it stacks with MBT, which is nice. So, yeah. I'm going to lock this back up. And I'm going to take out this money, and I'm going to stuff it in my wallet. Because fudge you and everything around you. Although, I guess that ATM is useful for, like, stacking uh, like all these coins in there. Because coins don't have a use, man. Uh, I can't stack coins. Really, it only takes bills. I am not surprised, actually. It's an ATM. Not a not a coin machine. Anyway, so... Once you have everything set up, um, it's quite easy to set up. Let me explain a little bit of the mechanics as soon as I put this money away. Sorry for, like, going on tangents, guys. I, I, I can't focus right now. So you can click this mode if you own the machine. When you own the machine, you won't see this tab. When you click it, it'll tell you your profit. You can turn that profit into whatever. So I'm going to quickly turn this to pennies because why the fudge not? Change. You could click change and it'll give you an in change. I'm going to put this to $10 for now. Yeah, that'll do. $10 is better than no dollar. I wonder why the $1 is a coin though. I guess it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a coin in some countries. Anyway, you could change the price of each thing by going to each slot and changing this. You could change this to whatever. The amount to whatever. The, the amount will be the amount sold per instance. So if I put like a stack of Enderium coins here. Uh, make sure you deselect it if you want to add in items or inventory. As you can see, I can only put stacks of 16 right now. And that's because I need to make upgrades. But for now, I'm just going to show you this. So I want I want to make it so that this gives 4 3. And for each 3, it costs $100. So there you go. 3 for $100. And, uh, yeah, make sure to put that to the rest one, because otherwise they'll get it for free. Yeah, that's the bad thing about this. You can also say infinite stock if you're in creative, but you have to be in creative. I recommend having the infinite stock personally, because that will work in, um, to get your economy. For example, I would recommend using it here for the exchange machine, so you can have infinite stock here, and infinite bumper. So... What that means is, if I set this to infinite stock enabled, what that means is if I get a metric ton of Azure Bluets, I could just convert it. You're probably wondering why are there two different, uh, why are these things super tall? You could have them in two modes. You could have them in normal size, which is like that, or you could put them on top of another, uh, one another. By putting them on top of one another, they get more inventory space, so I recommend putting it on top of each other. So yeah. There's also upgrades here that you can make. Request upgrades, which are useful for the exchange machine. I'll explain how that works in a second. Size upgrades for the vending machines. And yeah. So the max you can get on the vending machines is 256 and I'll explain how that works. So let me quickly explain this. The request upgrade is a simple thing. Let me explain how it works. Let me keep this another word here for a second. So if I put this upgrade on by just right clicking like that, I can now, if I click over this by doing settings, it says request. So if I go here and make it so that I want, let's say, um, not Enderian, let's say uh, Dwarven Candles. I can make it so that this, I, it's, I want this for, I'll give $5 for Dwarven Candles per each one, but I only want a max of 10. So yeah. Once that happens and I close that, I can then 
I also need to put funds in the machine, so I'm just gonna put like uh it should work actually without funds, so let's see. Uh Yes, there we go. And I could just click cash and there you go, I get three coins. So yeah, with the dwarven candle I could do this, this, this. I could you could see the the amount of dwarven candles is going lower and lower and then suddenly poof it's gone. So that's what the request thing does. Basically it says I only want this specific amount and once this amount is done, poof, it's gone. So then I get the cash, which is a fifty dollar bill, which is pretty good. So yeah, as you can see the dwarven candle also goes here into the buffer. I don't know what this uh I think that basically means buffer. So yeah. So let me see how that works, just to make sure. Stack. Cash that out. So yeah, it just erases the buffer basically. That's what it does. So yeah, that's how it works. Quite simple really. So I got more cash. God damn it, I need to put it in this wallet. This is why the wallet is a good investment overall. So you're probably wondering, oh, Arky Tori, how do I use this on my server? What you're going to want to do is get one of these vending machines. You're going to want to go and set it to creative, infinite, or not a vending machine. It could be a vending machine, but I prefer the exchange machine personally because the exchange machine is what you're going to want. Enable, turn this off. You're going to want to put whatever you want to convert. In my case, I want to use Enderium coins, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it so that each Enderium coin is worth about $50 each per amount. And there we go. That's all I do. I click that and boom. So now each Enderium coin is worth 50 so I could just send all this. Oh god, help! Ah! Click cash and there's my cold hard 3200 drills. Money, 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 money. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I'm sorry. So yeah, in case you don't like the dollar bills, you could change them using a resource pack or whatever. Even though personally I like the shape of this. I just wish it did like something special if you right clicked it. Like it made like a, th like you could actually throw money at people. If you right clicked it. That would be an awesome feature personally. But I'm just probably a stupid soul. Anyway let me show you the rest of the upgrades. And that will be it for the video. So the size upgrade here. You may notice that when we started this video. We can only put 16 here. So if I click size upgrade 1. You may notice it made a clicking noise. So what that means is if I go here. I can now put in up to 32. So let me just click that. And there you go 32. And now so this upgrade 2. It sets it to 64. You need to put the previous upgrades in order by the way. Because if not, it won't work at all. Size upgrade 3 and size upgrade 4. Which sets the max to 256. Which is a bit absurd, but whatever. So all I need to do is do that. 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 And that. There you go, 256. So yeah. I am buying, a, I am selling Ethereum coins 3 for 100 each. That's actually a bad idea if I were using the original mechanic here, but it's a good damn that. Which is here, actually. So, let me explain how that could be bad. You have this machine that has, uh, it does not have infinite stock. You have this machine that has 100 coins each. Um, yeah. I get my wallet here, my fat wallet, and I could just buy as much as I want. Yeah, that's not a good thing. So, let me just put all this fat money in here. <laughs> I, I'm saying weird things. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, yeah, I could just buy all of this. Oh god, it made a hiss noise. Why did you make a hiss noise? And I think I'm out of money, actually. Did I run out of money? No, okay, I can still take some. What's happening? I should not have enough money for all this, should I? What's happening? Did I glitch it already? Wow. I may have glitched this by accident. Okay, so, no, I think my wallet just ran out of money. Should be out of money, I think. Uh, Most of my hundreds are gone, so I'm going to assume yes, I did actually run out of money. I can't, oh, because there isn't three, that's why, okay. I could buy all three of you, though. <laughs> As you can see, it says it out, so yeah. Whoa. What happened with my wallet there? I just had a stroke. But yeah, that's cool. I didn't know I could buy all that, honestly. Then again, I saw it for, like, cheap, so yeah. Then I could put all this Enderium coins in here and then just make fat dosh. <laughs> 
Oh no, that was a stupid idea, honestly. <laughs> 128! It really shouldn't give you in stacks of 128 because that can glitch out, so I'm gonna tell the modder about that. I understand it's probably a temporary thing, but like, still, don't give it out. Don't give it out in like a big stack, give it out in small stacks of 64. I think that was originally a bug we encountered before. So yeah, let me quickly change this to one for a hundred. Then change that to a thousand more than anything. There we go. So one Enderium coin for a thousand, so I don't get ripped off this time. <laughs> I have an eight thousand five hundred sixty-six profit. Wow. Uh, So yeah, that's how it all works. I don't recommend using unlock mode personally. You could just click change and it'll give you the change really easily. I, I honestly don't think it's a wise idea to not use that function because that function will save you when push comes to shove. <sighs> I don't know. I personally just feel like it's a wise idea to not do that, but I don't know anything. Actually, yeah, that, that's probably equivalent. I have to... I don't know if this is a reasonable amount of money I had, honestly. I can't remember if that was how much hundreds I had. I feel like I may have glitched this game, possibly. So if I did, yay, the mob maker will know along with hating my video within five seconds because people will be exploding because of this. Good God, this is my fault. <laughs> I don't know how ATMs work, but basically ATMs work like this. You can basically store all this stuff here. Come over here and withdraw it, and there you go. That's it. You're done. We bobbed your uncle. There you go. You can now use this from here, and you can withdraw any amount, like 2100. Withdraw that, and boom. There you go. Also, what the fudge? How did I get this potion effect? Oh, did I right-click this somehow? Probably. Uh, that is a horrible potion. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment down below. I'm going to talk to the mod maker because maybe this is some bugs. Maybe there were bugs I did not realize. Or maybe it was just I have a metric percent of money and I just wasn't aware of this. It's probably the latter. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye, everyone.